Yeah, they're two-two draw against Kilmarnock. In the end, you must be delighted with the character the boys showed to, to keep going right to the end. Absolutely delighted with them. I thought it was a minimum they deserved. You know, I thought it was so important for us, you know, to keep going and keep going. But that's easy to say that. But the run we've been on, the results-wise, it's easy to put your head down and feel sorry for yourself. Summed up with Ryan's fantastic tackle, the ball rebounds to them, and they go two-one up. You know, we've obviously I'd like to see Big Mark's opportunity again. I thought that was a soft one as well. You know. But I thought it was the least we deserved the day. As I say, I've never this boy, these boys' commitment, determination, guts, summed up with Aaron getting forward, I think a full back getting forward in the 95th minute, as you say, to get the goal. But I think all the boys that come on the pitch all had an effect in the game. You know, I think that was important for us. They helped the guys that was on the pitch. We changed the system to try and get more forwards on the pitch, as we've always liked to do. I thought young Paul Allen played like an old man in the middle of the pitch. I thought he, was, he knew his role on the team and played it really, really well. You know, and that's great character for him. And in a very, very difficult game, but I thought it was the least we deserved from the game, you know, and I was delighted for the supporters that they see the guts and they, they stood by the players, and I've always said that to the players, I'll always stand by as long as you show guts, determination, of course we all want to win for them, because that's what you're paid to do, and we know the hurt they're going through, as we all are at this moment in time, so it's been a really tough time, and when you go 2-1 down, you know, you're thinking, what way are they going to respond, but as I say, I was absolutely delighted with the guts and the determination they showed, and as I say, I thought it was the least we deserved from the game. When you look at the, the goal that we got initially through Dom Thomas, you could maybe say it was the, the bit of luck that we've been needing, as you said, then for Command to go straight back up the park and score. The boys could have felt sorry for themselves and put their heads down, but that character that they showed, that must give them a lot of belief and confidence going into the remainder of the season that they've been able to fight back against arguably one of the better teams in the division. There's no doubt that Command have got a fantastic squad. You look at their group of players, but I think I've got to give Dom credit as well because the free kick at 10, we always say if you play that area of the pitch and you're going to take that free kick, if everybody misses, make sure you're on target so you can score the goal. So I think I've got to give him credit for that. I think it's a great piece of skill. It's all right because you've got to put in that sort of area that the keeper doesn't know if a striker gets a touch, it's going to be a goal. So I think I've got to tip a hat to Dom in that respect because, as I say, the quality of the ball in, obviously between the sticks, and it gives you an opportunity to try and score, and he done that. But, as you say, going back up after it, and they go straight back up. Ryan does a fantastic tackle. Could have went anywhere in the pitch, nine times out of ten, it goes into the stand or whatever. But sure, it's fate for us, it rebounded into that area. But the big thing for me was the players never felt sorry for themselves. They kept knocking on the door, they got an opportunity, with a couple of other wee half efforts. But as I say, right up to the final whistle, they kept going. And As I say, I was delighted for them. I think, as I've always said to you, I know it sounds crazy, but I've always seen that on the training pitch with them. They've got great guts, they show everything. You know, they've got 100% commitment to try and do the right things. Yes, that's not proved in the Saturday at times. We've made silly errors and we've been punished. I think every single mistake we make, we seem to get punished at this moment in time, you know. So I'm delighted for them tonight, but I'm, I'm disappointed the fact that we couldn't get the three points. That's the big disappointment, obviously. Our man of the match on Pars TV was Mark Connolly. He was one of many players that we could have chosen throughout the the squad. Um, you must be delighted with the way he's came in, settled in straight away, and and, and really, um, you know, kind of kicked on with uh, Vitas alongside him. Absolutely, and I think he's good for the younger players. You know, he's a good talker, Mark. You know, in certain situations you get yourself into, and he's got a good voice. He's the exact same in training. He wants to win. He's determined. He's got guts. You know, people don't. He's, he's a better user of the ball than people would give him credit for. You know, but as I say, the big thing here for his defending and organising, and you always hear his voice. And he, as I say, I was disappointed he never got his goal today because I think his performance deserved that. As all the players did. I think I've got to mind every one of them deserves something from the game. The boys that come on really affected it. I think that's that's always massive because the difficult thing, as I said to them, is you, during the week they pick the team with the way they train and go about their business. And I think you see that with the team I picked today. If they, they do the business correct, you'll, you'll get the opportunity. As I said, Vitus comes back. That was a, a big call I had to make because he never came back to yesterday. We've had a couple of guys like Todorov not trained for 10 days. But they're all determined. As I said, Dan Privis was sick five times in the first half on the pitch. You know? And that's why we'd take him off, you know, because he'd already been booked and we were concerned. But he phoned the other morning there at half past four in the morning that he says he's feeling unwell. So. I've got to, he's been outstanding for us, you know, and as I say, we've got to give great credit to the kid because this was an easy game to sit out and miss if you're no winning games and easy to sit out, but he showed great determination to play on the pitch and as I say, five times in the first half, he, he was sick on the pitch and as I say, that's the guts that the team needs and that's what we need at this moment in time and I'm hopefully the fans will see that commitment the players have got and they can respond to that as they did today.
Just over 4,000 in attendance this afternoon and the atmosphere was, was great. We had the both sets of supporters right under us in the TV gantry and it's great to hear East End Park rocking like that again. So when I came to the job, that was one of the reasons I attain it um, because I know what this place is capable of. I played here but against it myself so I know I understand it 100%. It was the, the job that I wanted in the summer once they, they got in contact with me. There was only one job I wanted to take. I said to him, I'm so proud to be the manager here. But because of the fact of the fan base it has, you know, I want to get them every week and I want to get a team that's successful for them. And they say shows gruts, commitment, everything you've got, give everything, don't leave everything on a football pitch, you know, and with individual talent they've got, if they show that, I'm sure, God willing, that the, the results are just round the corner that hopefully that we're all desperate for it to try and get that one.